Hey everyone, welcome back to Barrel CNC. I'm coming to you from the Barrel CNC assembly line. And in this video, we're going to convert a seven by 16 mini lathe into a CNC lathe. And then we're going to do a benchmark part, which is going to be a barb tube fitting. And we're gonna accomplish that with some CNC profiling and then also some manual drilling on the tailstock and some manual threading. So it's gonna be very cool. Let's check it out. So over here at our mini lathe station, we've got this seven by 16 Microlux variable speed mini lathe. And this happens to be the first lathe I purchased about a decade ago. I had no clue how to use it. I was using all the brazed carbide stuff. And then I started eventually developing the multi-form. So to mount the multi-form, we're just going to take this multi-mount and we're going to tuck it in by the splash guard, tighten it down, mount the multi-form, calibrate everything, and then make our benchmark part. As you can see, we've got our little thread cutting tool right here. We've got a keyless chuck in the tailstock, and then we're going to mount the multi-mount along the splash guard in the back. So let's get started. This is the multi-mount. It's very simple, it just has two attachment points, and then you can tighten everything else down once you get it into position where you like it. We're just gonna be using a ball end Allen wrench and another little Allen wrench, and that'll be it. Okay, now to mount our controller, we're going to take the box and mount it onto this steel base. So we'll just take the steel base and put it behind the lathe. Let's tuck it under the lathe. Take our control box. And mount it. So to install the multi-form, we're just going to use these T-nuts that are on the back. And we just put them in that T-slot. This is our mini lathe setup with the multi-form system and the control box and the mount. All set up and ready to go. So to benchmark this system, we want to make sure that we've got good parts. We're going to start with this BE00-2103 barbed tube fitting. So this is for an eighth inch ID tube. This one here has threads on it, but for the purposes of creating a nice drawing, we're going to use one without threads. So this model here has no threads. We'll make a nice little 2D drawing of that with all the radiuses called out and the origin. And we're going to use that to write our G code next. To cut apart, simply trace out the profile with line and arc G-codes. Remember to keep your depth of cut as shallow as possible so you don't break the carbide tool. For absolute beginners, the software uses a simplified set of G-codes consisting mostly of just G1 straight line moves and G2 and G3 arcs. Now as a best practice, let's just run these parts in the air, make sure nothing crashes. Let's get started. We've got our material about halfway across the 30 thousandths width of the VersaGroove tool. And we're going to start with barrel job 15. Cycle start.
Okay, now let's move our X out of the way. We're gonna do that tailstock drilling. Flip the direction of our spindle rotation. Get our tailstock into place. And let's peck drill this. Move our drill out of the way, and now it's time to thread. There we go. He's a little loud. We're going to take five thousandths passes. We've got our vernier set to zero, the OD of the threaded area. So let's start with five thou. Back it out. Ten thou. Back it out. Fifteen thou. Back it out. Nineteen thou. That's our spec. Now let's do one more finishing pass at nineteen. Okay. Let's uh, disengage our threading. Flip our direction. And now we're going to run barrel job 16. This will cut the barbs on the barb tube fitting. Cycle start. There you go, there's our part. This is out of 12L14 steel. All right, so these are the barb tube fittings that we made on the multi-form system. Hopefully this video was really cool and you loved it. Please like, share, subscribe, check out the website, and we'll see you next time. Adios.